Hello. Okay, so I have a nail polish haul for you guys. Um, I started collecting nail polishes thanks to YouTube. So, um, I've been collecting a lot. Um, this is just the most recent haul. I collect as I find stuff. I don't know, sometimes I'm like, you know, on a venture to find certain things like the crackle polishes, for example. Um, but I have a bunch of different ones. So I'll start with the Zoya. Uh, you guys knew about their three for whatever, the shipping. It's basically the three for free, they call it. So I have five. Oh, well, I have five. There's five. Um, the sixth one is six month. Hello. The sixth one, sixth one is Kelly, which is on back order because everybody wanted it. Um, it's a really, really pretty color though. I can't wait to get it. So first I have Rihanna. Rihanna. And it's a really beautiful, like, Bordeaux wine shade. Oh, sorry about the glare. Really, really pretty. I cannot wait to use this. Love, 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 love. This is probably one of my favorite out of all the ones that I got. Um, next is Edita. I guess that's how you say it. Edita. A lot of, uh, well not a lot of people, but a few people got this. It wasn't the color I was expecting. It's kind of like a snakeskin type color. It's got some gold, some olive green, some like a little bit of like, kind of like an iridescent black. I don't know, it wasn't what I expected. It's pretty, but it's it wasn't my favorite out of the whole bunch. It's just not like my favorite type of color. Maybe that's why I'm a little biased. But it's pretty nonetheless. I mean, that's kind of the reason why I wanted it, just because it's a little different than a lot of the other polishes I have. I like that it does this, this little gold, olive green thing, how it does that. It's really pretty. So I do think it's pretty, it's just not my favorite. Um, this one is a favorite, and this one is Casey. I did a blog post when I did my nails on this one. Really, really pretty vampy purple shade. I don't know if you can even see that it's kind of purplish. If you guys can't really tell, just check out my blog. Um, I did a blog post when I did it. It's the kind of dark shade where it's like, it doesn't really look black. You know how some like really, really dark cherry or just dark shades in general, nail polishes, um, it can look kind of black in some lights. This one just looks, I mean, if anything, it looks like a softened black, I guess you could say, or like a black but not quite black type of shade, which is kind of why I like it. I like collecting dark shades because I like those vampy colors. Really, really like this one. Another one of my favorites, which I haven't used. Actually, I like a lot. I think I like all five of the six that I got. The, the one that's not my favorite is the Edita, but we'll see. I might change my mind. But I do like this one. And this one is Charla. This one's really pretty. Like, really, really pretty. I don't know if the light's even doing it justice. Like, I love this glitter fleck thing that it does. This iridescence that it's doing. It's so gorgeous. It's like a teal base with, like, green and gold flecks in it. It's, it's gorgeous on the nails. Super pretty. Can't wait to use this. Oh, man down. Another one that I liked was um, was Luna. This one's super pretty too. Love, 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 love. I'm not sure what this looks like on its own, but I mean it's pretty sheer with the first coat so it can be worn as an overlay, but it can also be worn just by itself. I can imagine this to be slightly hard to take off, but it has the same like glitter fleck thing that Charla does. So I think it just looks like silver glitter, but it actually really isn't. But I don't know. I haven't completely swatched it on my fingers to really know. So I'm not sure. So those are all the Zoya ones I got. Um, and as you guys know, Katy Perry's collection from OPI came out. Everybody was running for this Black Shatter polish. This is the beloved, beloved Black Shatter. It's actually just called Black Shatter, I think. Yep. Just says it right there. Black Shatter. I do love this. I mean, I love the concept. I love that it does this. I don't know if any of you guys remember this like I do, but back in the day, I believe it was Maybelline or Revlon, they made crackle polishes back then. Or shatter polishes, whatever you want to call them. Same thing to me. But yeah, this is the black one. It's just a basic black. Really nothing special. It has a special cap on it. 
And then I got two of the glitter ones. I didn't care for the other ones. I mean, they're they were pretty, but the reason why I wanted the glitter ones is because I don't have a lot of glitter polish. So I got Last Friday Night. This one I like because it's a blue glitter. Really gorgeous. Gorgeous. It looks gorgeous in the light, as you can tell. Really pretty. <clears throat> I heard it's a pain in the ass to take off, though. Go figure. It's glitter. What do you expect? This one is Teenage Dream. Everybody wanted this one. Again, also gorgeous, though. So pretty. I'm pretty sure you guys already know what this looks like. It is one of my favorites. I don't know how I feel about the blue one. I feel like it looks slightly tacky, but I think it just depends on what you put under it, like as a base or if you wear it by itself. This one looks very pretty by itself. Um, you can wear it on, over something or by itself. Either way, I think it looks really pretty. But this one, I'm not sure yet. Haven't quite decided. So those are those. And then these are some of the random ones that I've come across. Um, this one, I think this is one of Tiffany D's favorite shades. This one's called Mink Muffs. And this one's from Essie. I love this shade. I really think this is more of a fall color, in my opinion. But it's pretty nonetheless. Like, I like that it's a little bit more neutral. I don't wear a lot of brown shades on my toes or my hands. It's just really not my favorite. If I do wear brown, it's more than likely a nude. Um, but I like that this one's very warm. Very warm. I love it. It's it's like a nice, warm, taupey brown shade. Very unique in my collection. And it looks pretty on the nails. Some brown nail polishes look really, really muddy. But this one actually looks very polished. I guess you could say. Very work worthy too. And then another one I found on clearance at Target. You can't see the label <laughs> because it was on clearance for $278. $278. If you can see it. Um, if you can see that little 3D part though, it's the Milani um, 3D holographic. Holographic, sorry. Holographic. <laughs> holographic in. It just says HD. So I don't know if that's. Yeah, it just says HD on the bottom. But it's the HD Silver one. I really like the way these come out on the nails. I haven't tried them on myself just yet, but I like the way they've looked in like swatches and stuff. So I'm kind of excited to try this. Looks pretty cool. Holly is the reason why I wanted this. <clears throat> and then another one, this isn't one that I bought myself. Um, my girl Ellen sent this to me, and this is the... Ooh, only gold, gold, only gold. Dude, I can't talk today. <laughs> this is only gold for me. This is the OPI special one. This one sold out at like every Sephora around me. I was pissed because I really, really wanted a nice like chunky gold glitter, not like a really fine one. She just so happened to find it at hers. It's gorgeous. I haven't opened it yet. Can't wait to try it. But I have heard that it is a pain to take off. Like, it's just as bad as the OPI ones. I can only imagine. Is the OPI Katy Perry ones? The glitter is really, really chunky. So, if you guys do own glitter polishes, in my experience, the best way to take them off is with just pure acetone. Like, 100% pure acetone. Okay, everybody loves these polishes right now. And these, I got four. These are the Crackle nail polishes. I didn't get the black because I already owned the black and I wasn't interested in the purple. It just wasn't really me. <laughs> so I got the gray one which is called Cracked Concrete. It's just a nice muted gray. It keeps doing this like where it brings like like that liquidy consistency back. I hate that. <laughs> but I really like this one. I like it because it's gray. I like muted colors sometimes for fall. I know it's not fall, but I'm just saying I like muted colors like this. Then I also got the white, which is called Lightning Bolt. Love white. Love white. I don't wear nail white nail polish very often, but I like the fact that they came out with a white crackle version. And then I got these two. Um, I hate that it does that. Do you see that? I hate that it does like that liquidy thing. It's disgusting. The pink one is called Broken Hearted. I've heard that the pastel ones, these two, don't work very well for some other people. I feel like you have to coat the. A lot of people have said that you have to coat it on in a certain way. I feel like the other two, the gray and the white, work a lot better for me. Um, I have to kind of coat these two in a certain way for it to get it to crack properly. This one's a uh, crushed candy. 
Love. It reminds me a lot of for Audrey. It's pretty much exactly like it, in my opinion. So I hope you guys enjoyed the haul, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!